Hello everybody, we are headed to the grocery store today. Um, this is not going to be a big shopping trip as far as my meal plan is concerned because today is Wednesday. So we've got meals for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'm going to shop again either on Monday or Tuesday. So I don't have a lot of stuff on my list that I need, but I do know there are some good sales going. So uh, let's go to the store and see what kind of deals I can get. Hello everybody, Marlene, AKA Snow Gardener 307. We are back from the store and I am literally pouring money down the drain. Here I am pouring money down the drain, literally. Just bought a gallon of milk and it fell out of the car and money down the drain. We're gonna start out with our meal plan. You're gonna see it is so stinking easy. I really didn't need anything for it. So chicken and dumplings was on the list last week. Um, I have chicken and dumplings that are frozen that I took out. I'm gonna make some new dumplings. Tomorrow we are celebrating my husband's birthday at his mom's house, so she's making meatloaf. I texted my husband to see what he wanted for dessert or a side. He did not get back to me, so I will be making another run to the store for that. And then on Friday, I'm gonna make up some spaghetti. On Saturday, I have family coming in from out of town, so we're actually going to eat out. And on Sunday, those egg McMuffins didn't happen last week, so we added them this week. None of this stuff here really required anything to be bought at the store. Let's take a look at what I bought. Here is my grocery haul. We're gonna go ahead and start over here. So some of you guys may know if you followed my channels for a while, I'm always trying to eat healthier and I like food so it, it doesn't work very well. But anyway, I am ready to get back to attempting to eat healthier. And they had these Thomas 100 calorie English muffins on sale, two for five. I really like those so I went ahead and grabbed those. Then I had a digital coupon for old El Paso items. You had to buy two, and when you bought two, then they dropped down to $1.29, and you could use the coupon five times. So I used the coupon five times. So I got four of the medium red enchilada sauce, four of the mild green chili enchilada sauce, and then I went ahead and grabbed two things of taco shells to put in the pantry. This is not something that I've stocked in my prepper pantry before, but I'm excited to add it to my prepper pantry. So those are all prep items. And then I am going to be canning peach salsa for the first time ever. I'm just following the recipe out of the ball canning book. So these are the things that I needed for it. I needed a red bell pepper. I obviously needed my peaches. I needed a red onion. I needed cilantro. I needed jalapenos. It does call for other items, but I did have those items. Now, let me grab my receipt so I can tell you how much these things cost because I don't remember on the produce. So the bell pepper was on sale for a dollar and the peaches were on sale for $1.28 and I got 3.72 pounds, so that was $4.76. The red onion was exactly a one pound, so it was $1.79. The cilantro was $1.29. The jalapenos were on sale again, so 88 cents a pound, so they were 42 cents. So that's all for the salsa. I've never done, never done it before. I'm super excited to try it. And then we get over here into some produce. And this is just to have to help me eat a little bit healthier. I didn't want to go crazy because it is a short week. So I got some celery so that I can make some celery sticks. I'm going to cut up this orange bell pepper and this cucumber. And then I can have these as vegetables. I got a head of lettuce so that, you know, for sandwiches, salads, stuff like that. The raspberries aren't, were on sale two for three. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. And then the bananas were... Let's see, 70 cents. And I forgot to give you guys the price of everything else. So the iceberg lettuce was $2.29. I wanted to buy some bags of salad, but I'm just too cheap for that. They were so expensive. The celery was $1.49. The orange bell pepper was on sale just like the red one for a dollar. And the cucumber was 89 cents. Then we jump over here into some cold items. So you guys saw at the beginning, I bought two gallons of milk. We have no milk, so we needed two gallons of milk. So I proceeded to throw a gallon of milk onto the ground and dump the whole thing because, you know, uh, that's what I like to do, apparently. And the milk were $4.19. So I spent $8.39 on two gallons of milk and I now have one. 
Then the orange juice, I don't normally buy orange juice that often, but these were on sale for two for seven, so three fifty. I love the Simply Orange Pulp Free. And then I went ahead and got a calcium as well because they only had one of these um, pulp free. The best buy dates for both of these are in November. And I've got some champagne in the refrigerator that's calling my name. So I think I might see some mimosas this next week. Maybe we'll do brunch um, for dinner or something like that. Then we've got cheese, 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 cheese. Anybody that's watched my grocery hauls before know that we love our cheese. So I got a Mexican style four cheese blend. My hubby um, really enjoys this taco cheese blend. He likes making quesadillas with it. It's not my favorite because it does have taco seasoning in it. And then I grabbed two medium cheddar. Before I went and bought cheese, I double checked my freezer to see how many were in there. So all of these cheeses were on sale for $6.99 and they are two pound bags. And then I went ahead and grabbed some low-fat cottage cheese for myself. And of course, this is trying to be somewhat healthier and have a little bit healthier choices in the refrigerator. It was $2.99. And then for some reason, I can't go to the store without buying sour cream. And that was $1.99. Then we get into some meat right here. And you guys know that you will see grocery hauls where I don't have any meat. And this is why. Because, of course, I stockpile meat when it is on sale. I promised myself the next time I saw chicken on sale that I would buy some to can. I already bought some, what, a week or two ago and put it into the freezer. So these were $2.27 a pound, so an amazing deal. So I grabbed five packs. They are super ooey gooey, so I don't want to take them out. Let me tell you how much the five packs were. Let me look at my receipt right here. So 533, 514, 359, 536, and 420. And of course the dogs are barking because I'm filming. Sorry about that, you guys. If you don't know, I have three Yorkies. And then I went ahead and bought some ground beef. Not that this was an amazing deal, but let me show you guys something right here. Isn't that crazy? Now, I know that it's a different grade of beef. This is the 81%. I understand that. This is $3.99. This was the four packs they had left of the $3.99. And the other packs were over $7 a pound. So I went ahead and grabbed four of these. I'm going to be freezing these. And so $3.99, we've got one pack at $10.01, one at $11.55.53. Sorry about that. One at $11.43 and one at 10.23. So this was definitely a prepper pantry freezer haul because besides the fresh vegetables and the dairy items, everything else is going into the pantry or into the freezer. So let me tell you guys what my total is. Now the total on my receipt is not quite right um, because the sales for the enchilada sauce did not work exactly correct. Um, my receipt total is $154.97. I did get $2.50 back, so it was $152.47 was my actual total. I'm pretty happy with that because if you look at the amount of meat that I got, you know, I mean, these, these are all about two and a half pounds of ground beef, and so that's 10 pounds of ground beef, and the chicken, I believe they're all over two pounds or close to it, so that is at least 10, probably 12 to 15 pounds. We got eight pounds of cheese and we're gonna be canning up some yummy peach salsa. I am gonna film that for my YouTube channel, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Hello everybody, we have got some more groceries this week. The canning bug has officially hit me, my house. So let me show you what we're, we've got and what we're gonna do with it. Here is my second grocery haul for the week, and I forgot milk. I was going to grab another gallon of milk, and I forgot to put it on my list because, of course, as you guys saw in the video, I dumped one on the ground. So I will still be getting another gallon of milk. I didn't add it to the list because my list yesterday just had stuff for my husband's dessert and some canning projects. So my husband decided to do the Better Than SEX cake, and I will have a video on that just in case you've never made that before. And so I needed sweetened condensed milk. You can see I already opened that up. I needed a, a jar of caramel. You put half with the sweetened condensed milk to go down inside. You put the rest on top. And then for my pantry, I wanted to have a sweetened condensed milk, so I grabbed one for the pantry. Let me look at the prices on those. The sweetened condensed milk 
was two dollars and nineteen cents the caramel topping was two dollars and seventy nine cents and then I needed some pectin now I'm looking at buying this online a little bit more in bulk but for right now I bought two of these because I'm making two different um, jelly recipes so I've got two and they were four dollars and twenty nine cents which seems like it's pretty expensive but when you consider how much a jar of jelly is nowadays I don't think that's too bad then we've got some produce so I have already made a batch of peach salsa I'm going to be making another batch of peach salsa. I already have a uh, red onion to go in it. I needed some cilantro to go in it. I also needed another red bell pepper and you can see some peaches back there. And then I am making some pepper jelly per my son's request. So it's got jalapenos. It's also got um, yellow peppers in it and red pepper and green pepper in it. And then last but le not least, we are going to be making um, some peach jam. So that is what I got. And let me show you guys my price. And I didn't tell you how much the produce was. So let's talk about it right now. So there's all the stuff I already told you. Cilantro was $1.29. Green bell pepper was 89 cents. The Colorado peaches were on sale for $1.28 a pound. So $8.81. You can see I saved $13.83 there. Jalapeno peppers were on sale for $1.88 and they were $1.75. And I've got um, almost two pounds of those and I realized I didn't actually need that many so I might be doing something else with part of those and then I got the other peppers that were a dollar a piece so I spent thirty two dollars and forty nine cents on this and all of this right here is coming out of the prepper pantry and then if I want to the sweetened condensed milk and the caramel that I bought um, that can come out of my celebration fund but let's go ahead and jump back into the video hello everybody I'm going to add on another order really quick. I have another online Sam's Club order and we went out of town to Walmart and Home Depot and stuff because there's things happening behind me. And so I grabbed a few things while I'm there. If you are brand new to my channel, the closest Walmart to me is 100 miles away. So here is my small haul. We're going to go ahead and start out with the Sam's Club. Sam's Club had these mac and cheese 18 boxes on sale for $10.18. This was an extra $4.80 off. So there's 18 boxes, so they are 57 cents each. Now these expire in April of 23. I do not know if we can eat 36 boxes of mac and cheese before April of 23. And of course, this is a best buy date, so we'll definitely eat them after. But I may take some of these to the food bank or see if family members want them or something like that. It was such a great deal and I was hoping for a little bit longer expiration date. That's the only hard thing about ordering online. And then the reason why I ordered was I needed some food saver bags. Um, I found a food saver at the thrift store for $2. And so I went ahead and grabbed this set from Sam's Club. It seems super expensive. I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, it was $42.98. It has eight inch um, heat seal rolls and it's got two of those it's got 11 inch heat seal rolls and it's got four of those and then it also has a bonus of six bags so we'll see how I like that and then the last thing I went ahead and picked up because I saw it I've never ordered Sam's Club's corn before um, but they had a case of green beans and a case of the sweet corn and they were six dollars and 78 cents so that brought the cans down to 57 cents each hardly ever in my store do I see them that inexpensive since we do live in a small town we only have one store. So my Sam's Club total for these things right here was $78.62. Of course, most of it was that food saver bag. Then let's go ahead and jump into Walmart. I needed a little bit more pasta, and that's one thing that I wanted to stock up on. If you just watched one of my last cooking videos, you know I use shells um, instead of penne pasta. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple rotini, four penne, and five spaghetti, and these were all 92 cents. And then my family loves sriracha, and my daughter was telling me there's a sriracha shortage. That's hard to say that five times fast. Sriracha shortage. And so Walmart had these two brands of sriracha. Of course, normally I only buy sriracha name brand, but so I grabbed these, which Tabasco was $3.98, and this Sky Valley brand was $4.97. Let me know, you guys, have you ever seen different brands of sriracha or used different brands? And have you heard that there is, in fact, a shortage? Then I bought some SpaghettiOs. And you guys, I did this grocery or this shopping a couple days ago. I bought six cans of SpaghettiOs 
And the boy, the teenage boy has already eaten three of them, $1.26 each. I really want to find a, a good deal like a case lot sale or somewhere that sells them by the case so that I can get a couple cases to put in the prepper pantry. That would be my goal. And then I went ahead and picked up some ramen. I've never seen this brand of ramen before, but it's what Walmart had. So I went ahead and picked them up. They were $2.38. I got a chicken and beef. And then we get into some non-food items. My exterior shower curtain, my pretty shower curtain is looking pretty rough and it was time to move on, but I love that shower curtain. So I found this one on Clarence. It's a Better Homes and Gardens. It was still expensive, $17.26. It was $23.97, so over $5 off. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I went ahead and grabbed some of the shower liners. And I grabbed two of them. I didn't realize how much they were. They were $7.28. Um, I could have swore that the tag said five something, but I'm back in Pindell, Wyoming, 100 miles away, so it's not like I can check on those. So two of those. So the shower curtain, you know, adventure was expensive this day because that's what, over $30 that I'm spending on shower curtains. Then I absolutely love Shea Sugar Scrub. Now, I've never tried the Equate brand before, but I saw it on the counter or on the shelf. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's $5.98. And I normally use a name brand one, but I'm going to give that one a whirl. Then my son likes this shampoo and conditioner right here. I needed some for the prepper pantry. So I grabbed two bottles of shampoo, one bottle of conditioner, um, because for him, that is about what it is, two to one. And those were $7.34 each. And then it was time for us to get um, new loofahs or whatever you want to call them. I guess Axe calls them a detailer, two-sided shower tool. Um, but everybody has the same kind. They used to have different colors, which was awesome. But now they only have one color, so they were $4.97 each. And at Walmart, I spent $112.06. So this is what I got, like I said, besides three cans of SpaghettiOs that the boy already ate. And that's what I'm going to be putting into my pantry. Now we are working on something in the back. I'm going to show you guys when it's all done. Um, it's going to help my storage space and I'm super excited about it. All right, everybody, until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody.